Hello everyone, it's Miss Sim back with another video. Today we're learning about contour lines and color. So what are contour lines? Cross contour lines may be horizontal, vertical, or both, but they always describe a form. So it can be an object or a surface. Here we have our hand. And here in the next slide, we can look at these. You can see that they're describing a surface, like the things that the objects are on and the objects themselves. Next, we're talking about color. These are our primary colors. So they're red, yellow, and blue. And with those colors, we can make any colors. So these are primaries. Our secondaries are purple, green, and orange. And you can see right here the dots that correlate with making those colors. So purple, we know we need red and blue. Green, we need yellow and blue. And orange, we need red and yellow. And here we have our th uh, treasury colors. With our treasury colors, they need a primary and a secondary. So we have red orange, red violet, blue violet, blue green, yellow green, yellow orange, and that's all. That's all six of our treasury colors. And our goal for today is I can use lines to create a contour drawing. All right. I'm going to be doing two different versions. This is my first version. This is what I'm going to be doing with third grade. So if you're third grade, please watch this one. So all you need is that piece of paper, a full sheet, and crowns. You can use a pencil too, but I'm gonna go ahead and trace out my hands. You can see, I can trace them out that way. Yeah, go trace them out like that. Any way you want to trace out your stuff, you can even trace it out like that. I like that way too. Trace it out like that. It's all up to you. I'm going to trace mine out this way. So all I'm doing is take my crown and tracing it around my hand. And of course, you can start this off with the pencil first. And then trace over it with a crown. You could do this with the marker. I don't want to do this with the marker. If you do it with the marker, trace it over with the pencil first, and then, then you can go on to it. But don't trace your hand with the marker. Trace it with the pencil first, then do everything with that marker. So I'm just seeing where my stuff fits. My hands are a lot bigger than y'all's. So you guys could probably fit lots of hands on your page. So I'm just trying to. draw it out it's okay if it's not perfect my didn't turn out perfect there you go this is what I got so far my two hands well so what I'm going to be doing next is drawing my contour lines so if it's not my hand it's a straight line and it's the hand it's a curved so it's straight Curved, straight, straight, curved, straight, straight, curved, straight, straight, curved, straight, and all the way until you're done. All right, and with my fingers, you can see it's that same thing. It's that straight, curved, straight, straight, curved, straight, straight, curved, straight. Straight, curved, straight. The fingers are really hard. So if you mess up on the fingers, that's perfectly fine. Just know that the whole hand is curved. And everything else is straight. So right here I have up my hands. So what I want us to do is have our primaries out. That's red, yellow, and blue. And our secondaries, that's green, violet, and orange. I want you to color one of your hands secondary, color one of your hands primary. You can color your background thrush array or either one. You can have your hands thrush array and your background secondary and primary. I'll leave that up to you. But yeah, once you have everything lined in, all you have to do is color in the way that you like. So I'll go ahead and let you guess. Watch me color in my artwork.
All right, and here you can see that I am getting done. And once you're all done, that is all for my one with third grade. So thank you, thank you. If you're a second grade, we are doing the same thing, just smaller. Or you can do this one as well, guys. Do not be afraid. And it's that same concept. All I'm going to be doing is tracing my hand. There you go. Tracing my hand, tracing my hand. And it's that same thing. All you see me doing here is, once again, straight lines for the background, curved lines for the hand. That's like that throughout the whole page. There you go. Straight line for the back, curved line for the hand. Straight line for the back, curved line for the hand. And it's just like that all the way through. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. I keep scooting it closer to myself, but there we go. Let's see. Straight line for the back, curved lines for the front. Straight line for the back, curved lines for the front. There you go. Just the whole way through. And don't, don't be scared to mess up. It's okay, guys. We're gonna mess up sometimes. If there's no mistakes in art, just happy accidents. There you go. The next I'm just gonna color it. I use my primaries and my secondaries for this one. And that's pretty much all I do. So I guess you can just sit here for just a moment and watch me color. And there we go. This is mine. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Goodbye. See you next time.